how do you approach code reviews uh, when you don't know the product or feature? Oh, uh, you, good question, Umar. Uh, and uh, the first is don't do code reviews when you don't know the product or a feature. And I'm not saying this lightly. I say this very sincerely. The people who are reviewing the code are my colleagues, are my coworkers who are working with me. They could have written this code instead of me writing that code. Um, I, I use the term priesthood-based code review. A priesthood-based code review is, you know, you can have these priests with long beards if you want to, and they sit there and say, back in time when I used to write code, and they want to come and review your code. Not effective. The people reviewing code should not be priests, they should be practitioners on the project. So, so and also, I don't approve of code review where we bring the code into a room and have a committee sit around and talk about it. It's a disaster waiting to happen. I believe in code review where, you know, one developer, there's no senior versus junior. One developer writes the code, another developer reviews it this time. The next time the same developer writes the code, yet another developer reviews the code, and we rotate among developers over time. So, so I really believe in code review by practitioners, avoid priesthood-based code reviews, and, and avoid a review by committee. So what I like to call as a tactical code review, where one person writes the code, another person reviews it, has been more effective than any of the other approaches. Yeah, definitely. And don't focus on, you know, small things like uh, spaces with stops or something like that, right? Yeah, I completely agree. As long as you use my consistent format, I don't focus on it, uh, Gregor. Uh, yeah. So I, I will tell you, I don't <laughs> care where the curly brace is as long as you put it where I want it to be put. No, just kidding. Okay. <laughs> no, but but well, your point, you're absolutely right. Uh, is is there's a multi facets to reviewing code. Uh, I you know oh it's 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 great that you mentioned it. Uh, one of the things I first start reviewing, in all honesty, is not the code. I review the test first, and then I review the code. So, you know, if, if we are capable of writing poor quality code, we are more capable of writing poor quality test cases. So oftentimes my review is, oh, this test is not adequate, or this test is too long, or this test is focusing on the wrong thing. So doing review of the test before reviewing the code is a good practice to have as well. And, and, uh, and, and you just prompted me to think about what are the things I often look for. Uh, you know, sure, you know, semicolons and curly braces are important to me as well. Uh, you know, if you really think about it, one comment I make quite often is, you need to give me a blank space between these two lines of code. I, I, I can't imagine how many times I may emphasize to programmers. The reason is when you look at a piece of code, the spacing conveys the clarity uh, and the flow of logic. And, and if there's no spacing, right? I always say a good code is, is inviting the reader, right? If you want to really know what the quality of code is, put a camera in front of the person reading the code. Are they smiling or are they grumpy right away? And, and uh, part of the reason is when you look at a code, it's inviting. It says, hey, here are the parts and focus on the first part, then the second part, then the third part, that removes, de-stresses me right away. If I see a, you know, a, a, a chunk of code, uh, you know, a pile of code, as I like to call it, right? A pile of characters. If I see a pile of characters, and I'm really, my face shrinks, and I'm like, I, I need to really understand what the parts are because the developer didn't care to expose the parts for me logically. This is like reading a book where there's no paragraphs. And you look at the book and you flip pages and the paragraph just plows through four pages and you're like, my gosh, I don't want to read this book. Well, instead, when you open a, a, a page, there are four or five paragraphs. You're like, I can handle it because it de-stresses you right away. That's a very important thing in the code. So while I don't care about style as much, I do care about the style in terms of are you bringing clarity out of things? And, and I say often, one of the most important uh, lines of code is the blank line between, uh, lines of code is, is something I really care about as well. 